Okay. Oh, we're gonna go do a line dance. See you in Sarvana <laughs> Kiev. <laughs> First day finished in Taikek. We had a pretty good day. Pretty quiet town. I like Taikek. Yeah, that's pretty nice. What did you think of Taikek? It's good. Good. Yeah. Nice hotel. <laughs> so, yeah, we would recommend this hotel. It's a pretty good spot right on the river. Make Kong. Good price. 220,000 kit. Just about ten dollars, and right on the river. Aircon. So we would recommend it. All right, we are on our way to Savannakat. See you in Savannakat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we are on day two, leaving from Takhek to Savannakat. That's about a two and a half hour drive. And we noticed on a road trip that every province had these poster boards uh, celebrating Visit Lao Year 2024. Every province has a different festival or focus, so pretty neat to see. Where are they going? They got to somewhere. Savannah Cat? Yeah, they from the Ryan Dan from Savannah Cat. Oh, they're gonna go do a line dance? No, they're not doing it. They just take a break, take, take the trip somewhere. Oh. Yeah, after, you know, Chinese New Year, oh. so much work. They're gonna go celebrate? Yeah, they just wear the uniform for the road trip. Yeah. Wow, looks like fun. So we got some fish you can buy to donate and we'll release for the temple. And that looks like eel. Birds, customary to buy birds and then release them. So guys, just outside Savannah Cat, we decided to stop, stop at Tat Inhan. This is one of the holiest sites in Savannah Cat and is registered as a national treasure of Lao PDR. From what I understand, the this has origins back from, let's see, 2,000 years prior and was rebuilt in the 16th century. This is, the story is this is where Buddha is said to have given a sermon. Following the sermon, he stopped to rest against a hot tree. And so that's what gives this site its name, Tat Ping Han. <laughs> I think 
Interestingly enough, Savaniket is also known for a series of fossil sites that were discovered in the early 20th century. So you'll see some remnants of dinosaur. There's a dinosaur museum and remnants of various dinosaur fossils around the city and the province. Savaniket's a pretty city right on the Mekong River. It's uh, very picturesque, very scenic, so we enjoy the drive in. And then after driving through the city, we stopped at a local garden restaurant for a bite to eat. This style was pretty indicative of a lot of traditional Lao restaurants where you've got a kind of outdoor sala over the water with a restaurant that serves traditional, authentic Lao food. Uh, the waitresses take your order and then the waiters zip by on motorbikes and serve your food so pretty interesting typically pretty good food and a fun way to spend the afternoon Okay, and then after lunch, we checked into our room, and as you can see, it was pretty no frills, but all that we needed in Savannah Cat. So, for a one bed, pretty straightforward bathroom, air condition, we paid 110,000 lap kip, or about five, a little bit over five dollars US. some of the street art on the streets of Savannah That's pretty neat.
So guys, as you can see, there's some pretty amazing street art in Savannah Cat. I was amazed just walking around, taking it all in. Yeah, just the detail. Yeah, the street rails was amazing, and also just the surrounding architecture, the old French colonial buildings. Even some of the decrepit buildings were pretty interesting. And then after checking out the street art, we went to the old cinema building in Savannah Cat. As I understand, for a long time this building was empty and deserted, and now it's gone through a revitalization. You can see there's a lot of new shops in here, coffee shops, and cocktail bars, ice cream shop. So it's pretty neat to see the revitalization in this really old historical French colonial building. The other thing I thought was neat was seeing the old cinema with the original movie posters still on the walls, so everything from The Godfather to Bruce Lee, Star Wars, I don't know what you spot, Quick poster, it's kind of fun to see on the walls. So then I had to stop into the coffee shop and get a soda. There's a cat laying out. He's got the right idea. But then I stopped and got a soda to get a little bit something refreshing before we continued on. And something fun was quick to point out was every other driver here on the streets of Savannah Cat was parked nice and straight along the curb. And, of course, I was parked on the sidewalk like any good driver from Vientiane, or Vientiane, as the locals call it. Now I know that I've been at Lao long enough to park like a local from Vientiane. For reference, here is a shot of what street parking looks like in Vientiane, the capital. So you can see there is little, if any, street parking available. So most everyone parks either on the sidewalk or takes up one of the lanes and double parks. Okay, so back in Savannah Cat, we spent some time walking outside around the Lao Shaloon Market, which the first part of this consists of arts and crafts, handmade goods, that sort of thing, and then we wandered into the food court area. Yeah, it's a big outside food court. It is. It reminds me a little bit of Chiang Mai. Just want to walk around? Guys, a lot of these outdoor markets, you'll see similar types of food, things like bao or steamed dumplings, a lot of charcoal grilled meats or shish kebabs, those sorts of things, which are pretty tasty. And there's also a variety of uh, hot pot, 
as well as what's called mokata, which is similar to hot pot, cooked on an outdoor griddle, various meats and vegetables. So all pretty tasty and all you'll see in most of these kind of open air markets in Laos. So we spent most of the evening walking around the market. You can see that we were in the huge indoor open food court area. And then closer to the street, there was another area that sold some different food offerings. So I walked out here and took a look to see what they had. This was a neat area too on the street, not far from the river. So it was pretty scenic. They had a booth here that was something like a teriyaki meat. So this looked pretty good, fun, and I ended up getting some of this. So it was pretty tasty. And then I ended up just getting a uh, boba milk tea. So this was a uh, Taiwanese style milk tea with boba, which was pretty tasty. So I have to say overall pretty impressed with the city of Savannakhet. It was a neat place to visit for a day. Really enjoyed the laid back vibe of the city. There's also a lot of museums it looked like so we'll have to go back for another visit to go see some of the museums. But for a good first visit it was pretty worthwhile. Really enjoyed it. Also really pretty. It was a really pretty city. So scenic laid back nice market good food area for the night so what more could you ask for yeah it was definitely a fun place to visit so we're wrapping up the second day of our road trip next on our list is the top end of the boulevard loop hope you can join us in the next series of videos thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video